This quick video I will be showing you guys how to manage your plugins with auto plugin sometimes you might have some plugins installed on your URO and on your UXO and sometimes you might have some plugins that you didn't actually realize were installed now auto plugin is actually the best place for managing your plugins so what you want to do you want to press X on start and you want to go ahead and load it up if you do not have auto plugin installed make sure to go and follow my tutorial also make sure you have got the latest version what we're going to do we're going to choose plugins for Vita and we're going to press X we're going to scroll down and we're going to press X on uninstall plugins now you don't necessarily have to uninstall plugins with this but it's perfect for scrolling through your whole PS Vita to search for plugins so what we can do we can use left and right to swap to our URO or our UXO so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to browse my UXO if we use the d-pad left and right here we can actually scroll through so we've got main as you can see I've got shellbat in there now it looks like I have got shellbat on both of them or is that just my UXO so if I go on the main on this one so it looks like we've got two shell bats so there you go perfect example the UXO shell bat I don't want that anymore so I'm gonna press X to remove it and I'm going to scroll through so we've got main all kernel main all kernel there's just three sections and it looks like my UXO is now clear so that is perfect make sure you do not have duplicate plugins because it will cause lag crashes all kinds of different errors it's just very annoying on my URO as you can see you can scroll through and um, it's actually highlighted this one in orange I'm not sure why maybe it means it was on both of them originally um, but it looks like we're all good now I'm pretty sure all of these plugins I do actually want maybe I will actually uninstall no power limits so I don't really use this one so X to uninstall that one and there you go very quick video I just want to show you guys how to manage your plugins I think maybe I did an older video on this but it wasn't as easy to you know it was going through the Vita shell and it's just kind of a mess this one is very very simple and once you're done what you want to do is actually press start you want to press X for OK and our PS Vita is going to restart now this is actually perfect when it restarts we can see is shell bat still working because we moved it from the UXO it should be on our URO and because I have an SD to Vita this should be perfectly fine so we're just going to give this a restart and we're going to see if it works keep in mind if you have an SD to Vita it will probably be URO if you just use a memory card or internal storage it will actually be your UXO what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and open up Hencore and we're going to see if our Shellbat plugin is still working it should be because there is one on the URO um, so what we're going to do we're going to exit this straight away and as you can see the shellback plugin literally just loaded in and we have got our percentage in there and that is now on the URO and we don't have a duplicate also keep in mind if your one is orange and it's not working you just want to uninstall it and then simply reinstall it again but that is pretty much it for this simple quick video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one